Once again, welcome on board our Delta Flight crew to Austin. My name's Lizzie Alvier. Good morning, everybody. It is March 17th. I just landed here in Austin, Texas last night. I didn't vlog much from yesterday because it was so late and honestly, I was so tired, but I am ready to start my day. So I'm just about to get ready and figure out what I'm going to do today. The first stop that I'm planning for today is to go to the mall. I found an outdoor mall nearby that has like a lot of luxury stores and restaurants and whatever. It looked really cute. So I really wanted to go check it out. So that's probably my first stop for today. I am heading out to my lift. I just want to show you guys what I'm wearing. Da -da. I have my black crop top. I got my vest. I have my long chomp tote and wow, Converse. Like always, I only wear like two pairs of shoes. I just finished eating my lunch brunch and honestly I'm pretty sad because it wasn't like that good and I wasn't really able to finish it. The noodles were just too spicy and just too like, I don't know how to explain it. It was just too much so I couldn't really finish my food but I just changed into the tank top and I'm gonna go look around and find a good spot for photos and then do a little bit of shopping before I head out. that is my mask doesn't even fly away anyway i'm moving over to the next event which is going to be at breakaway records it's a showing my friend from spain is here in austin texas with her boyfriend and her boyfriend's in a band that's performing so we're gonna go catch up with them <sighs> oh my goodness how are you hello look who i found <laughs> We're about to watch Sylvia's boyfriend's band play. y'all it is now day two or like kind of three because i landed at night this is my second full day here in austin yesterday i had so much fun out in sixth street and rainy street we went out and watched my friend's boyfriend's band perform i saw them perform twice and there's so much live music and so many great artists so we had an amazing time last night and now it's like one o'clock because i slept in super late but now i'm about to get ready and see what is up for today i decided to go for a graphic liner look today for a little bit of pop a little bit of fun i wanted to go to target today because there was one that was not too far from here but taking an uber or a lyft will cost me 20 to 40 dollars one way so round trip to target is going to cost me 60 to 80 dollars so i am not going to do that because i can just go to target when i go home but i did see nearby here there is a plaza with a lot of asian stores like asian grocery stores asian bakery and a daiso if you don't know what a daiso is it's like a japanese dollar store 
before and they, they don't have one out in Atlanta so when I saw that they have one nearby I was like dude I have to go it's only about a mile ish away a Lyft or Uber will cost me again 20 to 40 dollars to get there so I decided I'm gonna walk it it's like a 35 minute walk so hopefully it won't be too bad quick fit check before we go I'm wearing this vest again because my other jacket doesn't go with this fit I'm wearing a long sleeve uh, gray shirt from Airy and thrifted flared low-rise jeans with a cute belt from Target. This one is a salmon rice roll. This one is a rice ball. Like These two are both rice balls. This one has shiitake mushroom and egg, and then this one has beef. I just made it back to my hotel room. I had to take an Uber back because there was just no way I was carrying all these groceries down a mile and a half. Thankfully, by the time I was done shopping, the Uber was only like $9, so it wasn't too bad at all. I did pick up quite a few things from the supermarket and from Daiso, so I wanted to do a quick little Asian Plaza haul to show you guys everything that I got. Starting off with some food, I picked up some bread. So I got this one and this one. This was like a taro bun and this was like a milk custard bun. I got a couple of instant ramen. There isn't a microwave in this hotel room, which is kind of weird because there's like a refrigerator but no microwave. So every instant ramen I got, I had to make sure it's the one that you can just pour hot water into because there is a coffee machine so I can boil water but i can't heat up food in the microwave which is kind of weird i also got a bag of chips these are salted egg yolk corn crackers i've never had it but it looked good i also got some cans of coffee i love like these cans of coffee that you can buy at the asian supermarket because they're usually a lot sweeter than regular american coffees i picked up some makeup from daiso i have this loose powder and this brown gel eyeliner these are both about like two dollars each i got this uh portable sewing kit. I really, really don't need this one. It's like in this little case and then you can fold it and close it. Like, let me just open it real quick. Okay, see, so it's like a sewing kit and then it folds like this. And look how thin that is, that's amazing. I really didn't need this. It was like $2, but I had to buy it. I also got this luggage strap. I actually don't need this either. I mean, I kind of need it, but like not really. My uh, suitcase that I brought here, the blue one, it's actually really like, it's about to fall apart at any moment. And sometimes the zipper will bust open. So just to prevent anything, I bought this luggage strap and it's pink and super cute. The last thing I bought from Daiso was this dinosaur. A petite block Lego kind of thing that you put together it looks like this they had so many designs but I thought this one was really cute so if I get bored in this hotel room like this is what I'm this is what I'm doing and that's everything that I bought from the plaza now I am refreshing a little bit resting a little bit before I meet up with my friends later I'm about to head out to the downtown Austin area I just called my uber my uber has a passenger I can pet him right okay Hello, buddy. I am back at the hotel room. I called in an early night since I was pretty tired tonight. But now I'm just back here just hanging out and I'm about to make some instant noodles and I just ate some bread so you know it's been chill, it's been chill. I'm watching TLC right now which is nice and I'm trying to get some video editing done so that's pretty much all I got planned for the rest of the night. I already took off my eyelashes so that's why I look a little different. But yeah, calling it a chill night for tonight and we'll see what we're up to tomorrow. Good morning.
morning it is now saturday march 19th and it is my last day here in austin i woke up super tired because i stayed up really late last night working on that youtube video but i didn't want to sleep in today because it's my last day so i wanted to get the most out of it some things that i have planned for today is to check out the spot called wonder spaces and it's like this exhibit place that's nearby my sister just sent it to me on instagram and it looks really interesting so i definitely want to check it out but first, I gotta eat breakfast and get ready. Here's my outfit a little bit closer. It is a white cropped tank top with these thrifted pants that fit me really well. And I have my white Air Force Ones. Why do I think I look good in these sunglasses? I just arrived at the Wonder Spaces location. just got out of wonder spaces or wonder space it was such an amazing exhibit with so many interactive pieces and it was super fun i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the clips and seeing all the artwork now i am calling an uber and heading over to meet up my friend checkout time for me i gotta pack my bags and start heading out of the hotel my flight is at 6 50 tonight so i do have quite a lot of time to spare before my flight and it was so sad to say bye to my friend last night it was literally so sad i will see her again soon hopefully in europe next year but first i gotta pack up I just finished packing and now it is time for me to check out. I wanted to give you guys a quick hotel room tour before I left. Here's the door. I have it propped up with the chair because uh, I'm paranoid. And then I have a whole sofa to myself. There's even this room divider. And then there's even like a, there's a fridge and a sink here, but no microwave, which is kind of weird. There's like a study section and then a nice TV. Got the mirror, super clean wall closet over here i got the bed and then my view but yeah i am about to go down and check out and call my uber it's been such a nice trip and i feel kind of sad leaving now last fit check before we go i am going super simple i'm wearing this white cropped 
t-shirt that I got from I think like H&M or something uh, I didn't wear this the whole trip and I really wanted to wear it so I decided to wear it today I'm wearing my Lululemon leggings and the white Air Force One with my Nike socks it's a super basic outfit but I also packed a sweater that I have in case it gets cold because when I was coming here to Texas I was just wearing the sweater and I couldn't take it off I didn't wear a shirt underneath it and man was I sweating so I learned my lesson I'm just gonna go with a simple outfit and bring a layer to wear on top in case I get chilly I forgot to tell you guys where I was going. I'm actually going to the airport. I decided not to go anywhere else today because I was thinking about checking out this restaurant that's nearby for a good barbecue, but I just feel like it's better off to call my ride to the airport early in case it gets like super expensive later because when I landed, like the options to come to the hotel from the airport were $100 a ride. Now keep in mind, this is a 10 minute drive. $100 for a 10 minute drive is literally insane. So I had to sit and wait at the airport until the prices dropped down, but I just called a ride and it looks like it's only like $20, so that's not bad at all. So now I'm just here waiting for it. So yeah, I just thought I'll let you know that I'm going to the airport. Ooh. 